I'm a model. <laughs> hey dudes, this is Nicole, and that is the Kylie Bear, the South Master, behind the camera. Five tips to look skinny even if you're not. I have lost 130 pounds, but I do have loose skin and I do have a little bit of belly fat. So I've learned some tips and tricks on how to look skinny pretty much instantly. So even if you have some, some flaws or puffs that you wanna, or jiggles that you wanna hide, immediately you will look better. And so these are the five tips that I've learned and I'm gonna share them with you. These are the tricks of the trade. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey. Your hair is looking extra shiny today. Did you do something different? I got it in a box. What? I got it in a box and I dyed it. <laughs> I became a saloner. <laughs> box. Schwarzkopf. Number four cappuccino. I'm a box head. Wow. <laughs> Number one. Self tanner. There's something about a tan when I put one, um, a fresh self tan on, or when I go outside in the sun in the summer and get a tan, I instantly feel more confident and I always find that I look way more fit. It's almost, and way more slim. It's almost like the color emphasizes all the good parts of my body and sort of like hides the stuff that I'm not a fan of. So I've discovered. I've been trying a whole bunch of self tanners lately. This is the one I have on right now. This is the Beauty by Earth. It's from Amazon and I'm not sponsored by any of the products that I'm gonna show you, but I've just been trying stuff and this is the one I'm using right now. And we live in Canada, so you ain't getting a real tan for about nine or 10 months of the year here. Oh, another thing that the tan does, is I have a lot of loose stretch skin on the back of my legs from when I was really heavy and the tan, something about it smooths the backs of my legs and makes the loose skin look way better. It also just makes my skin look smoother. So any flaws, it sort of hides. And any like freckles or imperfections, I have a lot of freckles and scar, um, acne scars that are faded on my face and the tanner seems to cover it up. And she's been trying a lot, let me tell you folks, because I've had to smell them for weeks and weeks and weeks. So when she says which ones work and which ones don't, I've smelt them. The sassy is sacrificing his nose so I can find the best self tanner. Okay, so this is the one I'm using right now. It's really good, it gives a really good color. This is one coat. The only thing, a negative about this one is that it fades a little bit splotchy, like patchy, and there's no guide when it goes on. It goes on white, so you can't really see where you're tanning, and you have to rub it in quite a bit, but it gives a really good coat. It's a, it's a really nice color with only one coat. And then this I've been using for a couple of years now on my face. This is Clarins Self Tanning Milky Lotion. And this is for the face. And I just want to say it doesn't matter how you apply this. I sometimes I just squirt it on my hands after I exfoliate my face. And I just rub it into clean skin. And the next day, it looks honestly like I had been out in the sun. I look like golden bronze. I've never, knock on wood, had any splotches, streaks, anything from this stuff. It is so good. A tip with self-tanner that I learned, for your knees and elbows and, and feet, you put on moisturizer before you do the tanner. Then you use a tanning mitt to tan, to put the tanner on, on your legs and then the rest of your body, then, Take very, very little on a makeup brush, a foundation brush, and you buff it in to the areas. Hands, buff, face. Um, I do the face last usually, and I, I buff this in with this. I buff my knees, I buff my feet. Loose skin, ladies, if you have loose skin, I put the moisturizer on all the spots where I have loose skin, and then I just lightly buff this in. I discovered 
if I don't lightly buff in just a little bit of tanner, it leaves massive orange blotches on my loose skin. So that's a tip. <laughs> you can't get water on yourself after you're done tanning. So I learned I wear dishwashing gloves to wash out my mitt and my um, brushy so that otherwise I was having like water spots everywhere. Do not skip this step. This is a very important type. You don't want orange knuckles. No, you don't. <laughs> All right, number two, body scrub. So not only do you need to scrub your body a day before you self tan, you put your self tanner on, I discovered that this actually makes my skin look way smoother. It like smooths out some of my cellulite. It makes my whole body look softer, more supple, more hydrated. Ooh. <laughs> it looks so much better. So because I've been self tanning about once a week lately, I've been doing body scrub a couple times a week and my skin looks amazing and it really makes me look Honestly, I feel like it makes me look slimmer, smoother, less cellulite -y, less loose skinny. <laughs> this is my favorite one. This is the Calgon Exfoliating Mineral Scrub. It's really cheap. It's like $9 at Walmart in Canada. It lasts a long time and it's a really nice scrub. I even use it gently on my face. It really exfoliates well. The only thing is, um, use a spoon to scoop out the rest when you get to the bottom because I've cut my hand a couple of times getting right in the jar with my hand. So um, yeah, use a spoon. <laughs> so you, what you're saying is you didn't take TLC's advice when they said they don't want no scrubs. And I became a scrub. <laughs> Number three is shapewear or control top pantyhose. Anything that gives you a little bit of compression to suck in the stuff that you don't want poking out and again if I'm wearing something fitted I have some loose skin um down down here under like my belly the bottom of my stomach however you say that and in fitted dresses it really pokes out or especially like in bathing suits and stuff you can really see it coming out the sides so if I'm wearing a fitted dress or a romper a jumpsuit anything where my loose skin is gonna look really weird I put shapewear on or control top nylons, whatever. But if you're wearing a short dress, obviously, and it's summer, then shapewear works really well. So I got the one with the longer legs because I have loose skin on my thighs and it's really like lumpy <laughs> and weird. So I use the, this shapewear to sort of suck them in and make my thighs look slimmer. And then this long high waist part pulls up and in my loose skin on my stomach. And it just makes me look a lot smoother, like instantly. And then I can wear a form fitting dress and it's beautiful. This one I got for $14 at La Vie en Rose in Canada, but you can get them anywhere. Number four, it, the type of clothing, empire waists, high waists, anything that takes the eye off of the poofy, loose, skinny parts and draws the eye up to a more flattering part. So the dress that I'm wearing right now, it's sort of, it's not exactly empire waisty, but it does the same thing where it draws the eye up to the smaller part of my waist and takes it off of the bit of puff of belly that I have and my loose skin. And, and it sort of glides over so that it flatters my body instead of draws the eye to the parts I don't like. I love empire waists. Um, I love them in sundresses too. I, I buy a ton of empire waist stuff just because it, it looks really good on the body type that I have. And when you have a flowing skirt like this on the dress, it also hides the loose skin on my legs because like I said, it's pretty lumpy up there. <laughs> and you're not at all worried about the empire striking back? Some days, not every day. Just, you know, yeah, that's good. three quarters of the time. This is a, going to be a shock to you because it was a shock to me. <gasps> <laughs> Body suits. I thought only really small, skinny, fit girls could wear bodysuits. Guess what? Bodysuits make you look instantly slimmer because 
it's a full body suit, so it's acting like a shapewear. It's pulling in and up your belly, tucking it in, and it's actually showcasing the smaller, the narrower part of your waist. So I've been wearing bodysuits a lot with high-waisted jeggings, and the high-waisted jeggings and the bodysuit, you almost don't even see my loose skin at all. These are really, really good. And I find if I, I'm a size medium usually, but if I get a large, um, then the bodysuit doesn't pull. You're not like yanking it all day. It feels more comfortable to be a little looser. And then this is um, just an example of a high-waisted skirt. So I love these because, again, I have a bit of, I just have loose skin on my legs, loose skin on my belly, and a bit of belly fat. And so this high-waisted paper bag skirt, it does the trick to hide all of that. It looks denim. <laughs> Hank, eyeball roll at sass. <clears throat> Your dad's getting sassy again. Paper bag. <laughs> I might be old, but I know what a paper bag feels like. Ladies, friends, help me. This sassy, like, I have to be always on sass guard. You can't stop the dad jokes, don't even sass try. Sass duty every single day. <laughs> always on sass guard. You know, like, static guard, but I have sass guard. I need to invent a bottle. Yeah, yeah. spray bottle. Yeah. All right, let's tell them the number five. Get it? High heels. All right. So, let me tell you about something. My calves have always been something that I don't like. They've always been big, and even after I lost the 130 pounds, I still have to wear wide calf boots because my calves are just bigger. They, I, I don't fit, um, a lot of skinny jeans are snug on the calf part, so that's why I love jeggings so much because Anything stretchy or wide calf is good for the colas. <laughs> Anytime I wear high heels, I notice my legs look so much better. It showcases the muscle in my calves and it draws the eye away from how thick they are and makes them look more fit instead. I'll show you guys. So now you can see I got the heels on, legs look slimmer. I got the tan on, looking smooth. <laughs> I got my body scrub on two days ago, looking smooth. <laughs> I got my empire waist dress, looking so smooth. I couldn't think of another word. <laughs> and I had the shapewear on underneath. So as you can see, it really smoothed out that puffy bloat belly that I have going on today. And I'll just show you. Ah. Okay, you have something underneath, okay. I'll just show you. It goes all the way up here, the friends, so it's very high-waisted. And the legs, actually, they'll go down really low if you want them to. But because I'm wearing a shorter dress, I just pull them up. And you can't even tell because of the way that the dress flows. And if you can see where my loose skin is here, it's this bulk the the shapewear pulls it up and in so it's much more smooth and it's not lumpy like it normally is you can walk in to places <laughs> yeah that's me you'll never know i lost 130 pounds you'll never know i'm bloated yes you'll never know i'm not a professional dancer <laughs> though that you might know They'd be shocked to know I wasn't. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta adjust the camera. You're like three feet taller. Okay, good. Did you like that? Hey, it's Nanny. Hi, Bob. You saying hi to the friend? Say hi, friend. Say hi, buddy. I was sleeping and my face is mushy. Five tips that make you look skinny, even if you're not, if you don't have the perfect body, do these. You'll love it. You'll notice a difference immediately. You'll feel good. You'll feel like a 10. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Do the stuff. Get the bells. Get the, the likes. And get on Instagram and TikTok at the Colette. Got it? Good. And yell at Sassy in the comments. <sighs> Tell them, Sass, we're getting Sass guard on ya. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Watch this piece out, dudes. I'm gonna tap for ya. 
Whoa. Yes. <laughs> Have a great day. Peace. Hello? I was hopping like a frog in my oh. fancy shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good in those high heels. Bye, guys. <laughs> You can't stop the dancing. You can't stop it. <laughs> See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.